Assalamu alaikum and very good morning. I bid to all of you. Okay, today we would like to ask, to present about ways to uh, cut down the total loss of Telecom Malaysia Berhad. Okay, firstly, I would like to introduce my group members. Me, myself as the first presenter, Nurul Aina, and Nur Nadira as a second presenter. And third presenter is Nur Zakira, followed by Aida Shafika and Nurafika Najwa. Okay. Okay, me as a first presenter will, will briefly explain about executive summary. Okay, based on Tansri Zamzam Zairani, uh, Chief CEO of Telecom Nation Berhad, Telecom Nation have almost 4.2 million fixed customers. Okay, this shows that uh, Telecom Nation has a very high customers. Okay, so that uh, Telecom Nation, uh, Telecom and customer have to incur, have to incur high damage uh, for the modem and telephone. Okay, refer to refer back to our topic. It's cut down the total loss by a due to lightning. Okay, lightning is a giant discharge of electricity. Giant discharge of electricity that contain a high million million volt of electric. Okay, uh, based on National Meteorological Department. They said that nature will have uh, almost 190 days uh, raining, lightning, and thunder per year. Okay. And thunder per year. So that this shows that uh, the high damage caused by the lightning is higher. Okay, our total loss about uh, 9.576 million that caused by the lightning. Okay, uh, from this, uh, we will conclude that Telecom Nation will uh, loss due to the lightning. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, that's all from me. Okay, uh, let's give to next presenter. Okay, thank you um, to my to our first presenter. I will take part in organization. Telecom Russian Berhad is the largest integrated solution provider in Malaysia and one of Asian leading uh, communication company with market capitalizations of 13.9 billion ringgit Malaysian and a workforce of 20 6,629 employees. This is our board manager direct. This is our board directors, which is led by Tan Sri Datuk Sri Zamzam Zairani, um, Muhammad Isa. He said in Bernamas 2014, Telecom Nation have almost 4.2 million fixed customers. He was appointed as a non-independent uh, executive Director and Managing Director or Group Chief Executive Officer Tele Telecom Nation on 25 April 2008 until now 2014. From what our first presenter said before, um, Telecom Nation now face um, a huge loss uh, because of modern damage. Uh, caused by lightning. So, uh, our main problem statement here is costing the hardware loose by lightning damage in TM supply hardware. Because of this problem, we have done a research less than a month ago. 
and found a few methods that can uh, reduce uh, reduce amounts of loss by telecommunications, uh, which is first use lightning arrester. We um, create our own lightning arrester, which is combinations of uh, ground road and zinc oxide. The second one, use reactor. Uh, the third one, organized camping. How to prevent our telephone and modem damage due to lightning struck by ourselves? Uh, the fourth one, use the ground technique. Ground technique is quite same, same with uh, lightning road, but need a lot of space to build it. Uh, the last one, cut the, cut the line where the area that are raining. Uh, Um, thank you, uh, Nadira. Um, uh, recommendation. So we choose uh, we choose lightning arrester, um, zinc oxide arrester, and ground root as our best solution. So what is lightning arrester? Lightning arrester is uh, an electric equipment that protects electric device from sorry from a lightning strike. So um, why we choose this method? Um, we choose lightning arrester because it does not uh, need large space when compared to reactor. Reactor uh, can cost you um, a huge space. So um, next is um, a lightning arrester is lower in price when than the reactor cost, and it is easy to set up. Then. Uh, advantage of lightning arrester, uh, it is uh, easy of installation and economic, uh, the price is lower uh, as I said uh, when compared to the reactor and then it, it can be integrated into the architecture's building uh, without changing its aesthetic and then it is safe and can prevent damage to expensive, expensive equipment. Thank you. Okay, this is uh, the picture of our installation of lightning raster. Uh, so uh, from here, we can see that uh, our lightning raster, which at the top circle, um, is installed in between the modem and the telephone. So uh, once the lightning is struck, the, cab uh, the cable, uh, the lightning raster will change the direction of the high voltage of lightning to the groundwood, which is embedded uh, deep into the ground. So uh, this shows that uh, the modem and the telephone will be uh, completely protected from the lightning. So I will pass on to the costing part. Okay, first I briefly uh, explain about about purpose meet, the overall cost for purpose method. First, innovation lightning arrester. The costing is uh, in the range 130 to 150 ringgit per unit. Second, the costing for TM center cut the line where the area that are raining is 10,000. Third, grounding technique 2 million. Campaign to customer 30,000. And lastly, using reactor 300,000. The cost provided by TM is 352 million for about 2. Point, for about 4.2 million customer. So to get to uh, to obtain more profit, we will sell our lightning arrester at two times at two different price. At first, we will import 2.2 million lightning arrester for 2.2 million customer with price at at. 83.7 ringgit per unit. So the total cost for the first time purchase is 184.14 million, which is 2.2 million lightning arrested time at 83.7 ringgit per unit. Okay, second, for the first time sale, the price we will sell to our customer 130 ringgit per unit. So that the total cost for the first time sale is 286 million which is 2.2 million lightning like arrester unit times 130 ringgit per unit. So the, tot 
So the profit we obtain from the first time sale is 101.86 million which is the total cost for the first time sale minus the total cost for the first time purchase. Okay, Aida. Okay, now I will continue on for the uh, second time sales. Um, if the demands on our lightning arrestor is high, we will uh, raise up the price for the lightning arrestor, which is from 130 ringgit to 150 ringgit per unit for the next 2 million uh, unit of lightning arrestor for 2 million customers. So, um, the purchase for the, first, uh, for the lightning arrestor is 83 ringgit and 70 cent uh, for 2 million lightning arrested it will be 167 uh, for uh, 0.4 million ringgit so uh, and our selling price uh, is 150 ringgit per unit and for 2 million lightning arrested it will be a total of 300 ringgit million so uh, the total profit for the second time sales will be 132 ringgit and 60 million ringgit. Okay, for the total profit, which is uh, the combination of first first time sale and second time sale, it will be 234.46 million ringgit. <laughs> okay, um, uh, to put it simple. I will show you here is uh, for the first uh, for price of per unit of lightning arrestor. For the uh, profit for first time sales, it will be 46.3 million ringgit for first time uh, per unit for first time sales. And for the second time sales, it's it will be 66.3 uh, cent ringgit per unit. Uh, and lastly, I will show you the comparison uh, of total loss for TM. If they use it, if, if they did not, did not use the lightning arrestor uh, to protect the modem and telephone, and the uh, loss if they use the lightning arrestor. Uh, if there is no usage of lightning arrestor, once the modem is damaged due to the lightning. Uh, the price needed to cover for one damage uh, for one damage modem is two hundred uh, ringgit per unit, and for the lightning arrestor damage, it will only need eighty three point seven ringgit per unit. So basically, TM can save about one hundred sixteen point three ringgit per unit. So this shows that uh, lightning arrestor is completely uh, can give profit for. TM. So uh, I will pass on to the conclusion parts. Um, the conclusion is um, TM can save the cost uh, with uh, by using the lightning arrestor, and then uh, TM can uh, guarantee the best product to its customer. Thank you. So, any questions? Yes. All right, this question is for uh, anyone who would like to answer. Uh, you said that uh, this TM will provide four point, uh, for 4.2 million customers, right? And then uh, from the total profit, you can add another for 2 million uh, customers. So uh, as what I understand, uh, in Malaysia itself, we have around 26 to 27 million uh, citizens using uh, electricity. So uh, if you are... Uh, 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 giving this service for only uh, to six point two million customers. What about the other fourteen million uh, citizens? How would you? How would you? Uh, how would TM uh, save the cost from that? And how would TM provide enough uh, arrestors for all the citizens so everyone could be satisfied?
Okay, thank you for the question. This is not all, this is not for the all the users usage. This is for TM users only. So uh, this is for TM users so that the other rest is not using uh, telephone and modem. Our our problem is to protect modem and telephone from lightning. And this is only for our customers. So um, my question is about your innovation of the lightning arrester. So you say um, you invent um, your investment in the lightning arrester is um, for the betterment of the, and you guarantee the for the customer that you provide the best product. Um, how do you have you done any testing on the product on the lightning arrester whether it works or not? If you have any data on whether these things works or not, or just uh, Fake promises. All right, thank you. <coughs> Malaysia not already use this um, lightning arrester, but at the overseas. The uses of lightning arrester is um, provide, and most of them, not most, most of them, um, at least at there, <laughs> at least at there, uh, the uses of lightning arrester already uh, done. Okay, thank you.